mainly inspires me is my story behind me. My name is Andrea. I am part of the art therapy program here at Monarch. Coming to Monarch and going through the art program and going like learning how to deal with my past, I put it into painting. So like this one right here, it like honestly, it's, the tree is me. The colors are what makes me happy. So what inspires me is my past. And I made the tree look like it's dead, like a dark gray color, because that's how I felt like my past was just catching up to me and I just felt alone and I was in the dark. And the colors behind it represent how the energy is bursting out through the tree. And the colors are what like made me happy was doing art, my friends, monarch, and just stuff that helped me get through my past. a story for me so like I can write my past my life story on a canvas by painting it and people get a different view from my painting whether than I know the real story behind it so that's what I like about art it's kind of a secret diary for me I find happiness sadness and frustration in art it is I get so frustrated when it does not come out the way I want it to that's why it takes me so long to do some of my pieces. Like I'll be like, I'm done with it and I don't want to go back to it until like weeks later. But happiness, I really do get a lot of happiness out of it. I mean, even though I paint and a lot of it is about my past, it helps me like let it go. It helps me get, get it out of me. And then that's when I can accept more happiness and positive things. So you know, it's, a, it's a really good stress reliever too. But I really do find a lot of happiness out of my painting. It just shows me that Nothing can knock me down, and I always have something to help me keep standing up. Awesome. Nice. I think it's a really, I, I'm really excited for it to see my painting turn into a design and to see, like, my, just, just to see my painting on someone's shirt, it would be really, like, it'd be really cool to me. I would really like that. <laughs>